Hi, boys and girls. I'm Miss Sparkle, or maybe Miss Sparkly Scarecrow. And this is Rosie Posy. Today, we're going to read a story and we're going to do a little activity. And then we're going to make a beautiful craft that maybe you could hang up at your house. Rose, let's read our story. It's called Sam the Scarecrow. Now you know why I'm dressed like a scarecrow. Sam the Scarecrow. Written by Sharon Lorden, illustrated by Dawn Silverstein. Sam the Scarecrow. Sam was a scarecrow. Sam was made of straw. He was made of sticks. Hi, Rose. He was made of old clothes. Sam was supposed to look scary. He was supposed to scare the crows. But Sam was not scary. All the crows made fun of him. Ha ha, said the crows. You are a scarecrow, but you can't scare us. You are made of straw. You are made of sticks. You are made of old clothes. Ha ha, you can't scare us. Sam was sad. All the crows made fun of him. I am a scarecrow, said Sam, but I'm not scary. Ha ha, said the crows. Try to scare us. Just then, the wind blew. The wind blew Sam's old clothes. Sam looks scary. Sam scared the crows. The crows, the crows flew away. They were very, very scared. Thanks to Sam the Scarecrow. The end. So really, scarecrows are supposed to scare all the um, things that are going to eat the crops away, right? Like the birds and maybe some different animals. Because when they're in there, they might think they're what? If I was up and a, a real scarecrow, they might think I was a real person, right? And the birds aren't going to come near me, will they? And so their scarecrows are really meant to scare the crows and all those birds that are going to eat the crops away. Okay, I am going to read you a fun little story. Once upon a time, a grandmother who lived in the country had a large cherry tree. It was loaded with ripe red cherries. Now this grandmother was not so spry as she used to be. She could not climb to the top of the tree to pick the red ripe strawberries, not strawberries, cherries, to put in her pie. She had to wait until her grandson Jack came from the city. Jack's father had promised to bring him the next Saturday, but now it was only Wednesday. Grandmother didn't know what to do. She wanted to wait for Jack to pick the cherries, but how could she? Something was taking them and it was the blackbirds. If something was not done about it at once, the cherries would all be gone. So she thought and she thought of some way to frighten the birds away. Finally, she had an idea. Do you know what she did? What do you think she did? Grandmother took a stick and stuck it in the ground. Bonk, here's my stick, stuck in the ground. She took another stick and crossed it over. There we 
you go. She hung an old shirt on it. She tied a bundle of straw on it for the head. She tied some old raggedy pants on it. She fastened old gloves for the hands. And she put a straw hat on the head. When the wind blew, it made him flop just like a man and the birds did not dare go near and steal any more of her cherries. Now grandmother's funny old scarecrow could move his head. I'll show you how. Can you move your head like a scarecrow? Awesome. The old scarecrow is such a funny man. He flops in the wind as hard as he can. Can you flop in the wind? He flops to the right. He flops to the left. He flops back and forth till he's almost out of breath. His arm swings out, his legs swing too. He nods his head. How do you do? See him flippity flop when the wind blows hard the old scarecrow in your backyard. How is it to be a scarecrow? Was it kind of fun? Well, let's make your very own scarecrow. So I'm gonna put this away and we're going to make a scarecrow that looks a lot like this, but you can choose your colors. Now, at, underneath the video is a link for you to actually print off the activity so you could do it with me. And I would also love for you to subscribe to my channel and like the video. That would be amazing. Let's get this out of my way. Now, in the link, when you copy the pictures, that's what you're going to find. Look at that. Those are all the pieces that we just did. The pants and the hat and the head and the shirt and the gloves. So, let's get started coloring. Now, I'm going to color them different than I did last time, probably. And you can color them however you want to, because this is your activity. Um, but I still do want my hat to be yellow, because I like to think of a yellow straw, straw hat. And I'm going to outline some with my yellow marker first. I think it's fun to add some accents. Ooh, I like that. Now I'm going to color it yellow. It's big, so I'm using the back of my crayon. See how I had to pick some of the um, paper off of it? Now, if you get out of the lines, guess what? It's okay. Because... You are going to cut this out. So I'm going to color fast because I'm going to be cutting it out. Here we go. Okay. Then I'm going to, let's see here. I want a red shirt. So I'm going, oh, my pants first. I'm going to do my pants first. I want to color all this first. Um, I want orange pants. So I'm going to do the little things with my markers, the little patches. Now see, I'm making my little things bigger so you can see them. It will make them look really cute, I think. And if you don't like it, then you don't do that. And I'm going to make my patches um, different color. I'm going to make my patches blue on the inside. And then my pants are going to be orange. 
a lot of coloring to do. Lots of coloring means I use the back of my crayons. Do you like the sound it makes when you're coloring a lot? I like the sound it makes. It goes, I like it. Ooh. It's fun when you color and you can get out of the lines a little bit because then you can color faster. There's my one pair of pants. Okay, then I'm going to do the face. And the face, I'm going to use my markers on the face and I'm gonna make red smile. And I have blue eyes, so I'm gonna make my scarecrow have blue eyes. Maybe you have green eyes or brown eyes. You're gonna make them your color. And then I'm going to choose orange for the nose. And the eyebrows are going to be black. Then I'm going to make this kind of a super light brown color. Kind of a tan. I'm using kind of a tan color. See how when I did the marker first, it's easier to, uh, I think it's easier to do the um, little things first. The eyes and mouth and nose. Oh, going out of the lines because I'm going to cut it out. It's okay. Then I'm going to make my shirt. My shirt. My shirt I'm going to make blue with red accents. I want a red pocket. And I want the collar to be red. When I trace, I'm tracing the inside part of the black line. So I don't want to cut that out. And then the place around the wrist. I want that to be red too. The button. Oh. Make that red too. Now remember, you can make this how you want to make it, okay? Now I'm going to color in red. Right here. And over here. Oh, I missed something. I'm going to go back and trace that line. I'm going to use my blue. Now, I made them bigger than what they really are on the page, but 
I just think it gives it that little bit more pizzazz. Oh, this one too. And I'm gonna color it in blue. Mm, I want a brighter blue. Oh, this is my favorite. Same thing applies if I go out of line, it's okay. Because we're going to cut it out. Well, up here I'm gonna be careful because I don't wanna get it in my red. Lots of blue. Ooh, that's a lot of hard work, isn't it? I'm gonna be careful over here by my red. shirt. I hope you love your shirt too. Oh, I love it. Awesome. Then my gloves are going to be orange. I'm going to make a little pizzazzy piece. Oh, no. oh, I want this one to have one too. I just made one. I'm going to color it in. Now, if you notice, I around here is where we're going to cut on the darker line because it's very, very hard to cut the fingers. If you are an extremely good cutter, then you can cut in and out. But if, if you need a little bit more practice or if that's way too much, you can cut around this because it's gonna be much easier. So when I color though, I'm gonna try to just color the fingers and not that little extra. So this I can't really scribble. Because I want to make sure that I just get the fingers. There we go. Okay. Now, before we cut, I'm going to have you do something. You need to have two blank papers with this too. You need to have two blank white papers, okay? This, at this part, you could either glue or you could use tape. I'm going to use glue. I'm gonna show you what we're gonna do. I have to pick that little piece off. At the very edge, I'm gonna put a little bit of teeny, 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 dot of teeny, teeny, teeny bit of glue. Do you see that? That is so little. You might want help with that to make sure. See, if I go like that, it doesn't come off because it's just such a little bitty line. And then I'm gonna take this other paper, very carefully, I'm gonna place it on top. Exactly there. And I'm gonna bring it down. You might want help on this, okay? Is if you don't have this, the activity is kind of hard to do because um, all the pieces may be glued on other things. You can do it without it, but this is this makes it nice. Okay, so we need our scissors. Always remember, big part at the bottom, little part on top, knuckles down, 
towards the ground, three on the bottom, one on top. And first I'm going to cut my head out. I'm gonna use the big black line to be cutting it out. And I like to make it easier, so I just cut my head off. And I come around. Now, this is what I'm saying. If you want to cut this part like I'm gonna cut, that is just fine. If you're really good at cutting, you might want to cut that first and then you could go back in and do your little snips because this is really difficult okay so either way is just fine do it the way you need to do it okay So that made it easier just because I did the rounded part first and then I did the little snips. Okay, and then I'm actually just gonna cut the gloves off. I'm gonna come up with this shirt. Ooh, now right here, be really careful and go down. You know, if you cut that little part off, it's okay. It's no big deal. I'm going to make it easier and just snip that off. Go around the black, the bigger black line. The reason why we glued that first is so it's dry by the time we're gonna glue our pieces to it. Like I said, if you don't have extra papers, that's okay. We'll make it work. You just have to be super careful with your glue. Cut that off. Then be really careful. It's tough. Now for the hands. Two. Okay. Like I said, if you want to cut the fingers out, you can, but it's going to be easier if you cut this part first. Okay, so cut that first, then go back and cut out the fingers. or don't cut the fingers. Cause that still looks nice too, okay? I'm not gonna cut the fingers out. Remember at any time, if you need to stop the video for a little bit and catch up, you can. I hope you're doing the best job you can. Now for my hat and my pants. I'm gonna come down here so I can cut the hat from the pants. I'm gonna cut on the side of the pants. Oh, here we go, much easier. I'm gonna cut top. Down. See the little jaggeds? You can cut those, but cut this first. And then go back and do the jaggeds if you want to. Actually, I'm coming here first. Now, you don't even have to do that one if you don't want to. 
but I want to do this one. So I'm going to come up here. Do other side. There we go. Put over there. Put the trash. And my hat. Oh, now the hat. The hat. You could either just go around it or cut all those jiggity jags. Forgot to draw a circle around those. Hopefully the one I printed for you is going to have a little circle, a little circle around it that you can um, just cut that out. We're going to pretend mine does. Because all those little jiggity jags are hard to cut. Here we go. Okay. Now I have all my pieces and my paper should be dry because I use a tiny, tiny, tiny bit of glue. So I'm gonna build my scarecrow, my pants. I'm not gonna glue yet. My shirt, my head, my hat, my gloves. Ooh, now if you notice, it goes off a little bit up here and off down here. So when we glue, we're gonna have to be really, really careful. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my hat and my head off. And I'm gonna glue my, my, my whole shirt can fit. So I'm gonna glue my, I'm gonna make sure it's where it's supposed to be. And then I'm gonna put little bits of glue Little zigzag, ziggity zags. Okay, I didn't put very much here. Can you see how little bitty bitty that is? It's not gonna fall off my paper. Not very much, okay. I'm gonna put that down first because I know it's gonna be on that paper and not be off. Now the hands, we know we're gonna come off. So I'm gonna put a dot of glue here and a dot of glue here. And I'm gonna put my glove on, hold it down. I'm gonna put my glove on, hold it down. There we go. Now let's see if our head's gonna fit. Okay, our head's gonna fit. So we can do the same thing with our head. Maybe a little bit down here. Now remember, a little bit of glue goes a long way. We don't need very much. Just little bitty dots. I'm gonna put my head on there. And I'm gonna put my hat up here. My hat is gonna go off the page. So I'll be really careful. I'm gonna put some dots right here. And then I'm gonna put my hat on top. And I'm gonna pick up, watch what I do. Pick up where it is and on my paper, not the hat, I'm gonna put a couple more dots where I know that's gonna go down. And push it on really good and tight. There we go. And we can't forget the pants. The pants are gonna go off too, okay? So we're just gonna put glue at the very top. Little zigzags. I'm gonna stick mine underneath the shirt. Push it down. Oh, wow. Oh, I'm loving my scarecrow. Ooh, now I want to make the background a little bit blue like the sky. So I'm just gonna kinda scribble some little zigzags just so it looks really pretty. 
I always like to add some details. Now, like I said, if you didn't have that paper like I did, you could be real careful. And you could have glued that, just that little piece there, little piece there. You'd have to be so careful to glue. Maybe get a little bit of help so you don't make a huge mess. A little bit there, a little bit on this side. I'm not gonna go all the way down because I'm gonna make grass. Here's my sky. And then there's grass color. it. Ooh, and you know what? I want a flower on this side. And a different kind of flower on this side. Make, let's see. This, ooh, this is a beautiful color. I'm gonna make like a tulip, kind of. <laughs> there we go. And then maybe kind of like a rose, like my rosy posy. There we go. I just kind of did a swirly swirly. There we go. There's my scarecrow. And I can hold it up. See how I can hold it up? And it doesn't go anywhere. I could put this on my refrigerator or maybe my front door. Have a great little cute scarecrow to scare the crows away. But I don't think he's gonna scare any crows away because he looks too happy like to me. What do you think? See, does he look happy? I like happy scarecrows. Boys and girls, thanks so much for joining me today. Remember to go out and do something kind for someone. Be thoughtful. It's a very good thing to be. Until next time, peace, love, sparkles.